Hey guys, it's Dina and it's everyone's favorite time of year. It's a time for an updated All My Dolls collection. As you can see, my collection has got quite large and it has grown, but in the meantime, I have sold a few dolls along the way this past year. So if you see some dolls missing, please note that I did sell them and they are off to new homes where they are being loved. Also before we begin, as many of you know, I am a teacher and I love American Girl, how it was started by a fellow teacher and the message it sends. I am living proof that if you set your mind to anything, you can achieve your goals and I am an adult collector so with achieving my goals and becoming a teacher, I was able to buy all these dolls or most of them and fulfill my happy place which is collecting dolls. So without further ado, let's get started. As always, let's start it off with my first doll, Kit Kitteridge. She is a pleasant company doll my one and only in my collection that I got for my 13th birthday and if you watch my last All My Dolls video you would know that she's wearing the same outfit as this is my first doll I like to keep her in pristine shape and I just try not to touch her and hopefully one day I will have her to pass on to my own child one day uh, so they can have this as their first doll as well. My second doll is number 44 who I named Regan. This is not my original Regan doll, I still have her but this is one I picked up at the benefit sale just to replace my old one because she definitely has seen better days. Fun fact, I did not get her until about a few years later after I got my first kit doll and that just restarted my collection as an adult collector. Now if you're an OG viewer, you know I've had a few dolls in between like my doll Andy and Brooklyn and Charlie. Unfortunately, I don't have many of those girls anymore. So the order now is just gonna be a mishmash of everything. So this is Kanani Girl the year 2010, which is the year actually I started recollecting American Girl dolls. So it's a pivotal year in my collection journey. Journey. Next up we have the ever so sweet Molly. I did have another Molly before this that I won in a contest but oh my goodness Dina, yes I did sell her and I fell in love with her. I've always loved Molly. I usually and always will now keep her in her historical attire. This Molly itself is from the Costco bundle a few years back. Here we have Truly Me number 55. This is my doll, Maxwell, but I like to call her Max. I think this is a pretty popular doll. I know a lot of people have number 55 in their collection and for a good reason. The next doll who rolled their way into my collection is my doll, Landon. She is a Truly Me and I absolutely love this doll from her freckles to her curly hair and blue eyes. And lately I've been obsessed with the Pleasant Company slash Girl of Today outfits. As you can see, she has on the rollerblading outfit. Next up is Jude and I'm sure a lot of you already know that. She's easily one of my most recognizable dolls in my collection. Often when I meet people, they tell me how much they absolutely adore her and for good reasons. Uh, this outfit is a 90s look, which is coming back in style. So definitely follow me on Instagram, Dina and Bina, because I just posted a new picture of her in this adorable look. Next up is my doll, Drew, the first and last doll I will ever eye swap. I'm sure a lot of you know this story, but regardless, I'm so lucky. She turned out so perfect for my first eye swap and she is a number 33 with Caroline's eyes and she is so strikingly beautiful. So here's another girl of the year in my collection. This is Mia St. Clair and I absolutely love her. She is a doll that is mostly on display and I don't use her too often or have pictures of her but she does have a new head and I love her wig. It's super thick and luscious. This is my doll Hayden. She is another truly me doll. I love her fiery red hair and her blue eyes. I love the straight hair dolls because I do have a lot of dolls and the straight hair is just so easy to care for so I really recommend her as well. Next up is gorgeous Baylor. She is retired, truly me number 43. You're gonna see a few dolls wearing these beanies in my video. That's because I'm obsessed with them and I have a YouTube video on them if you're wondering where they came from. Here's my sweet number 21. I believe she is retired as well. She does not have a name yet so stay tuned on Instagram. I like to announce doll names on there. This doll is my one of my few dolls that has pin curls and I love the green eye slash hazel eye color. You'll see it's one of the most common eye colors in my collection. So this cutie is my doll Avery. She's a newer truly me that came out I think a few years back. As you can tell she is rocking some cute pajamas so comment below if you're watching this in your pajamas right now. Like I said I'm loving Pleasant Company and I absolutely just have to show you these cute little teddy bear slippers that the set comes with. Obsessed. This is the Be Forever doll Mary Ellen who I renamed Elliot. She's from my favorite time period, which I wish I could go back to, which is the 50s. I love the movie Grease. Anyone else with me on that? I love everything in that time period from the dancing to the diners and drive-ins and the outfits. So 
that's pretty much why I love Mary Ellen. Next, we have Girl of the Year, Luciana Vega, who I renamed Finley after my old 66 that I sold because I found them to be pretty similar. This eyebrow shape is my all-time favorite from American Girl as well. Okay, from one Girl of the Year to the next, we have Leah Clark. Up there, one of my top Girl of the Year dolls that are my favorite. I renamed her Lakin, and look at her. She is absolutely flawless. Here we have my doll Dayton. She is retired number 19. The only doll in my collection, believe it or not, with the Felicity eye color. And as you can see, it really makes her pop and stand out. Next up we have my doll Colton. She is retired Truly Me number 31. She is from the benefit sale and one of the dolls I literally sprinted to get to because I absolutely wanted her and I'm so glad I have her. Doesn't she just look stunning in Melody's dress? Next up we have one of my first custom dolls. This is Wyatt. She has a sage wig with I believe a number 62 face and eyes and custom freckles. She has really made me love custom dolls even though I don't have too many. So this is McKenna. As I'm sure a lot of you know, I've actually kept her name she is ready for summer in this outfit and McKenna let's just get through spring first okay uh, here she is my sweet Dylan she is number 26 I absolutely love this wig as you know 44 has this wig as well as my other doll Boston but longer and she's just so photogenic and once again rocking that 90s look with this adorable pleasant company outfit so on the topic of custom dolls, a few dolls back. This is my doll Jordan. She is a pretty simple custom, but if you ask me, absolutely beautiful and breathtaking. She is a 62 with custom blue eyes that I believe are from number 56. And I just really love this doll and she's so easy to photograph. Okay guys, thanks for sticking by. If you are still here, you are amazing. I think we're about halfway through, if not three quarters of the way. So this is my doll Ollie, or her full name is Oliver. She is a retired number 41 and just an adorable sweet face and I love her green eyes. So here we have Blair. She is from last year, the girl of the year. I've kept her name because I love the name Blair and it can be used for a boy or a girl. As you know, I love more common names that are often for a boy but can be for a girl as well. And if you don't have her, I highly recommend her. So here's another one of my customs. She does not have a name because her wig is not glued down and this way I can interchange it. I did re-wig her which is pretty simple and that I can recommend is easy to do. But for now, I've just been loving this wig on her for the past few months and hence why she doesn't have a name because she's going to be an interchangeable doll. So this is number 48. She's a fairly new doll in my collection. As always, which I like to do is buy older dolls and send them in for a new head. She is a holy grail doll and I'm so happy to finally have her in my collection. She is absolutely darling. Next up we have my cutie named Rylan. She is a number 58 and I like to keep her in glasses often because I think it just really suits her personality. This is my 70s girl Julie, one of the dolls that I've kept her name and I love to keep her in historically accurate outfits. As you can see, this is one of her limited edition outfits and I think it totally suits her 70s vibe. Moving along, this is number 64, I believe, and this is my doll Blake. She is rocking a flower crown and a floral outfit, which I love florals for my dolls. And if you're wondering about the flower crown, of course, you guessed it, I have videos about those on my channel as well. Next up, this is Boston. We're almost there, guys. She is one of my top five Truly Me dolls. I love her wig. It's so bouncy, soft, and extra curly. Here's another one of my retired rare dolls that has been high on my list for years. This is number 11. She was another doll I purchased that was not too expensive, but up there based on her rarity. And I sent her in for a new head and I'm so happy with the outcome and how she looks. This is Nenea who I renamed Emerson. She is a Be Forever doll and I really love her unique new face mold as it really adds a lot of diversity to my collection. Next up we have Tenny who I renamed Devin. She is a doll that came out with Logan, the first boy doll from American Girl, which I do have. Her wig is absolutely incredible and it's definitely worth it if you're thinking about getting her just because her wig is so thick and you can do many unique hairstyles. This is my 36. As you know, I wanted this doll for a long time. If you watched my previous All My Dolls video, I renamed her Mason. And what I really love about her is that she looks a lot like her little twin here, number 48. They're very similar, both retired and both girls who are truly me's. Oh my, just look at that sweet face. This is Kaya. She is a V Forever doll who I renamed Marley. And yes, I did take her hair out. I love her wig. It's extremely long and I absolutely adore her in my collection. 
in. So here's number 80. I got her around this time last year. This doll, let me tell you, is absolutely incredible. I love everything from her face mold to her unique skin tone color. And if you're watching this for the first time, I'm going to announce her name. She needed a really cool, unique name, and this beauty's name, number 80, is Nash. Welcome, Nash. All right, guys, we're almost there. So this is number 81. She's a pretty new American Girl doll, and I named her Reese. I love her hair, and I absolutely love her in this outfit. So this striking beauty is my first and only Create Your Own doll, or CYO doll from American Girl. Her name is Grayson, and she is so photogenic, and I absolutely love everything about her. And finally, last but not least, thank you so much for sticking by and watching all this. If you have, this is Joss, our current girl of the year. I love her new face mold. She is a breathtaking doll. I often get asked which dolls I want next. I think I'm okay for now, but if I had to pick, I'm hoping to get a few more of the retired dolls that are no longer available that are truly me. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, comment down below which doll from my collection is your favorite. Thank you so much for sticking by me all these years, especially those of you that are OG viewers from my Bina and Dina days. And I just think it's amazing to have so many of you watching and following along these years as my collection has grown and shrunk and all the videos in between. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'm really excited to hear about which doll you liked best and thank you for supporting me in my journey.